Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new origami tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make an origami um, jellyfish. So, here's what it looks like. It's my design. It's a little hard to make a circle thing with a square paper, but you get the idea and it's a jellyfish. So, for this model, you'll need two sheets of paper and scissors. So, um, we're going to start by putting one of these pieces of paper aside because we won't need it for now. So, I'm going to choose to put this one aside and we can leave this, put the scissors away for now. So, uh, first we're going to make the top part of the jellyfish. So, for this, we're gonna take our square paper and we're gonna take the color that we don't want to show. Um, we're gonna put it in front of us. So now, I'm gonna fold this paper in half like this. Okay, we're gonna unfold it and we'll do it the other way, so, like that. Nice crease. All right, now we're gonna unfold this and we're gonna fold it in half, but from corner to corner. So this corner to this corner. Give it a nice crease. Okay, now, we're gonna unfold that, and we'll do the same with the other corner. So this corner to this corner. Okay, so we're gonna unfold this, and now we've got this star-shaped pattern. So we're going to start by folding in one edge to the center. So this edge to the center that we're gonna turn it around and do the same so we're gonna fold this edge into the center we're gonna repeat this two more times for every so for every corner of the square bring this final edge into the center all right now so we have this sort of a small little circle so we're gonna start by taking these flaps and we're going to fold them upwards like this. So we're gonna fold the tip to the edge of our small circle. And we're gonna unfold it. So now we're gonna bring in the scissors. Uh, I'm gonna grab those. And so we want you want to fold this backwards so you have a nice line. And then you wanna cut in the middle. So you wanna cut a little, like a little flap, like this. And we're gonna have a little flap like right here, this flap. And then we're going to leave them folded outwards. So we're going to repeat this on each corner. So I'm going to fold this that way. Unfold it. Fold it backwards on the same line. Grab the scissors. And cut a flap. Okay, so now we've got all of our flaps cut and folded back. So what we're going to do is we're gonna take one of these edges and we're gonna fold it along the line that, that these two triangles make. So we're gonna fold it along this to the center. Do a nice crease and unfold. We're gonna repeat that on each corner. It's a very symmetri symmetrical origami. All right, now that we've got this, if you unfold these, you can see that we also have a line right here in these two there. So we're going to um, take these edges and we're going to basically fold them closer to the center. So as you can see, I've got like a little gap, so we're not completely touching the center. I'd say it's not very long. It's just very much smaller than an inch. So I'd say a third of an inch and you fold it like that. And this one we're gonna keep folded so we can have the same distances on each one. So this one we're gonna fold the same distance. So as you can see, we have the same distance from the center, like that. We're gonna turn it around and do this again. So same distance, try and get it all nice and symmetrical. And the final one, like so. We're gonna unfold these 
And as you can see, now we have an extra little crease. So we're gonna fold this triangle flap edge down here. Do this on each corner. Fold it like this. And fold it like this. We can also fold our triangles back into the middle now. And before we flip this over, we're gonna do one final move. We're gonna fold this edge here to the center on each side. Okay, so we folded all those in. Now we can flip it over. And so if you can see, we have a sort of a triangular pattern here. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold this edge here straight onto this line. So we're basically going to be folding this this way on each side. So we've got this line here folding into this line on each side. This is a little tough, but I think you guys can get it. So we fold it like that and pinch it. So then we have this little part here. We'll do it on the next triangular pattern. So we've got this triangle. We're gonna fold both of these edges onto the line. So fold it like this. And do the same with the other edge just like so. Next triangular pattern, we're going to fold like this. So this line, this triangular pattern, this edge into the middle line. And we're gonna do the same with the other edge. So we fold both of them into the middle line. And the final one, we have this triangular pattern. We're gonna fold both edges into the middle. So we fold this edge and this edge like that all right so now we've got the top of our jellyfish finished it's looking pretty circular so we're gonna set this aside for now and we're gonna grab our second sheet of paper and our scissors so for this we're gonna make the little stingers and the, the tentacles of our jellyfish so with this it's gonna be really easy we're gonna just fold this paper in half Fold it in half again. So we unfold and then fold these in like this. We unfold that. We're gonna do the same on the other side. So we fold this into the center line. Nice crease. And now we're gonna take our piece of paper and we're gonna cut these four strips. Cut nicely along the line. That, that's our first strip, and we'll cut on the line for all four of these. Okay, we've got our four strips, we can put the scissors away. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the color we like. I think the green will go best with my purple. And we're gonna fold these over. So now when we flip this, this tentacle, we, it's only green. I'm gonna do it on each tentacle. Okay, we've got all four strips. Now we're gonna make them into tentacles. So I'm gonna grab one of these strips and um, we're going to, I'm gonna fold it like this. So it doesn't have to be exactly precise. You just have to fold it in a sort of a diagonal fashion and then fold it back around the same way. We're gonna flip it over, fold it again in a diagonal fashion 
and flip it back over and fold this back. So that's about the end of our tentacle. All we need to do now is fold this triangle in so we have a sort of a straight part at the very end. So when you're making these tentacles, you can make them as long as you want. Just remember that at the top, you need to have a straight portion right here. So we're gonna do the same for all four of these. So I'm gonna do this one a little funky. So this one like that, and then I think we'll go this way and back this way. That, and I'm gonna fold this in so I have my little straight portion at the top. That's two tentacles done, we're gonna keep going. So this one like this. over and fold this up and we're gonna fold this in to have our little straight portion at the top that and now down to the last tentacle we're going to do this and this and I think I'm gonna flip it over here fold it this way this way and fold a little corner in so we have our straight portion at the top so now we've got all four tentacles, and now we're gonna finish assembling this jellyfish. So let me grab the top. As you can see here, we've got our little openings, flaps for our tentacles. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold these back just to make sure they've got the fold. And now we're going to take the straight portion and we're going to fold it towards us. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to insert the straight portion into the flaps we cut out at the beginning. So the tentacle is passing this way and then we're gonna fold it over so that it doesn't come out. And we're gonna finally fold these on top. So we fold this that way. So then it stands nicely. And as you guys can see, we've got our first tentacle attached. So I'm gonna repeat the process for the next tentacle. So you fold this over like that. Then we're gonna grab one of our tentacles, make sure the straight portion is facing away from you. We're gonna fold it towards us like that. So we have a little flap like this and we're gonna put it inside the opening here. And we're gonna fold it over so that it doesn't pop out. And we're going to fold this triangle on top, just like so. And we'll finally fold this up. That is the second tentacle attached to our jellyfish. We're gonna do two more and then that'll be the end. So we're gonna take this one, fold it towards you, the straight portion at the top. Now we're gonna insert it inside the opening we cut open and fold it so now we do this, make sure this triangle is folded that way, and that's our next tentacle. So if yours are falling out, it's not a problem. You can try and make some extra little folds to, so that the tentacles stay there. I usually find it helpful to just fiddle around with the, the tentacles until they stay. So that's our third tentacle done. There's the last tentacle. So we're gonna take the straight portion, fold it towards us, unfold this, put it inside the flap, fold it over, and then fold the flap right back down. And just like that, got all four tentacles attached. So you can rearrange them any way you want, just so that they stay on there a little bit better. So you can fiddle around with it until your tentacles stay. If you want, you can make, you can tape them down if they keep falling out, or you can try some extra folds so that you can stay true to origami and not use any tape. Um, so that's it for this model, the jellyfish. And um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. It might've been a little hard. Remember, you could always go back and pause to, to do it at your own pace. So I will see you guys all in the next video and goodbye.